I'm Dr. Shockrageous. This is going to be your monthly reading for the sign of Leo. Leo Sun, Moon, Rising, wherever Leo is in your chart. Hopefully you find a message that you've come to receive. Namaste. Spirit, what messages do you have for the sign of Leo?
you want to know, you know, that something has ran its course that you can't make it look all right to you no more. You know, it's not glorifying pain. It's not making roses out of pain. But you're going to have to take your story to a different part of your life. You can't keep that story in the same part of your life because no matter where you go, life lands you right back to where you had to see from in a perspective that left you kind of trying to avoid not being the magician. It's giving what God has given you educationally. And not just school building education. It's giving what you've given yourself an opportunity for you to use it. And knowing that that's the season that you're going to be walking into again. But even the magician requires the eight of wands. So... It's the spiritual level of consciousness and what's important to you at your core. What's important to you at your core. The cards also evoke the optimism of youth and driving force of life, you know, so... When it comes to the king and the queen of wands at the seven of swords with the will of fortune, that's, that's something you should pray on. Seven of swords shows deception, dishonesty, and lack of trust. And you're going to have to have that ace of swords mentality and just accept what it is that you pick up intellectually and also accept the clarity that God has given you without needing to avoid the clarity. You know, it's an affirmative yes. It's an affirmative yes for the clarity that you've received so you have to accept that the actual curiosity, the time you took to even hear something, to find the natural energy to either indulge in a situation where you have to come out as if you would when you were growing up, you couldn't necessarily respond how the ignorance of an adult is today. So that's called obedience. You can't lose your obedience to God. Not that you ever would, but it's just like being a lost sheep. Sometimes things can arise to show you that always picking the better way to respond or react is the greater way. But the, having the having the thirst for knowing knowing when to accept a truth as the truth and being into learning and logic No, there's no cups down. There's no cups, but there's the thirst for knowledge. So, it's knowing that the next step you're taking is going to actually lead to where you truly need to. And I'm taking my time as I read this energy because, not just because I'm looking at the beauty of it all together it's accepting what God is removing so you can focus because you already have a strong focus on life and 
it's a period of rest and relaxation after a time of challenges and turmoil. It can mean retreat, tomb, exile, vigilance, coffin. You know, so it's nourishing your soul while accepting your past. It's the recuperation for the journey that you have to, to embark on. It's the welcoming home and saying, yes, it's time to rest. Yes, you self-defense and know who you are when it comes to if you're a naturally balanced person or even though it's a fire sign, you're normally very well kept in your passions. And when new adversity arises that you've already conquered before, the Seven of Swords, you actually understand how to see the elevation for your, your actual uh, destiny. Your fortune success is protected by God. Life cycles and turning points, you know, luck in different areas of life, but more so life cycles in this reading. Life is always changing. Embrace new possibilities. And luck is on your side as you pursue your future plan. It's a drastic change. And things could take a 180 degree turn from your current situation. So you want to align with your higher purpose so that emotionally the response to such drastic change is aligned with your purpose. And if you actually been a mouthpiece of God, and having to say the unfavorable things that have allowed you to go to the Seven of Swords, being somebody that has to... It's like that part where... And we're not in that part, but going and being an oracle and having to say something where you can't really sugarcoat it nor care about how it makes you feel saying it at the same time. So it's not being rude. It's literally not obstructing what God is saying to say, even if it makes you uncomfortable, even if it leads to you being in addition to anything. And it's literally saying be graceful with going from standing to that inner magician of just having your legs crossed in the yoga pose, Indian school, just, you know, legs crossed in such a style. And knowing that, showing how your spiritual perspective, which is an individual gift to everybody in the world, no one has the same spiritual perspective. So no one is going to sit down the same, and that's the beauty. And it'll allow you to say, even when looking for yourself as who you are as a partner or who you seek as a, as a future partner or whatever, it'll allow you to make the standard met that there's some type of spiritual greatness that's held on to and not deviated from because it could lead to communication blocks of confusion, but it's upright, so it's determined, resourceful, a strong, powerful man, and dexterity, you know? And that's having the actual balancing of the air around you and knowing how to keep going. Final card, Ace of Pentacles. So... Pursue your goals and capitalize on your new morale. Leo, this has been your monthly reading. Namaste.